Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be comparing cloud egress costs for a few different cloud services. Uh, we'll be doing Azure, DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, and Railway. So modern clouds make it easy to deploy web apps to the world. But if you're not careful, they can also cost you far more than you'd expect. As an example, this developer ran up a $100,000 cloud bill due to runaway cloud costs, largely due to egress fees. Now in this post, we'll compare the egress costs from some of the most popular cloud services, so you can make an informed decision about where to host your own apps. Now for our comparison, we'll be looking at popular serverless container services. I really like building on serverless containers. I don't really like cloud functions. I don't really like having a VPS and having to deal with my server. So I really like serverless container or sometimes called managed container services. And so we're mainly looking at those in this post. And we'll be comparing their egress bandwidth costs. So we'll be looking at Azure, which has container apps, DigitalOcean, which has app platform, Google Cloud, which has Cloud Run, and finally Railway which is basically all serverless containers. We'll be pulling data from Cloud Compare. This is a site that aggregates serverless container cloud offerings to make them easier to compare. I do a lot of posts like this, so I figured I'd just put it all in one website so I can just give one link and I'll have up-to-date information. And so here we can see um, the basic comparisons or one of them, it offers several. I'm showing each of these offerings, whether they scale to zero, RAM costs, vCPU costs, and egress costs. Um, monthly. Now for our purposes, we're going to be comparing how much each service would cost if you used 100 gigabytes of egress. This is a bit easier to understand than like the tenths of a cent that Azure and Google Cloud tries to um, charge you and should give you a more reasonable or like realistic estimate of what an actual app would look like and cost if it was actually getting traffic. Like I feel like most apps will either be on the low end getting like zero gigabytes of traffic because you know nobody uses them or if they're actually getting decent traffic they'll probably be in like the tens of gigabytes and so this should give you a nice range over here all right and so we can just look at the price per 100 gigabytes of egress so for azure you'd be paying eight dollars and 70 cents for digital ocean you'd be paying one dollar their egress costs are quite low um which is always impressive. Uh, for Google Cloud, it's $8.50. And then for Railway, it's $10. Now, cloud egress costs are only one of many factors you should consider when choosing a cloud host, but they shouldn't be ignored. This is often what sinks side projects at scale, um, and especially is what kind of caused that $100,000 uh, cloud bill I shared with earlier. Now, for up-to-date cloud comparisons, check out Cloud Compare. I'll be updating these, you know, as prices change, probably adding new clouds, new comparisons in it as well. So let me know, you know, what's missing and I'll try to add it there as well. Now, if you like this post, you might also like how this developer side project racked up a $100,000 cloud bill on Netlify and five ways to avoid the same fate. You might also be interested in Cloud Compare, Azure versus DigitalOcean versus Google Cloud versus Railway for their serverless container offerings. And finally, you might be interested in how I host my server-side render dev sharp site on Google Cloud for less than $1 per month. And that's talking about how I'm hosting this website right here on Cloud Run, which is their serverless container offering. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.